A study on bullying from UBC found 64% of BC teens in grade 8 to 10 have been bullied, some in person and some online. So how can students and their parents empower themselves against bullying? Education is key, but so is understanding that help is out there if you reach out for it. It started in elementary school. This one guy was in grade 5 and I was in grade, I think, 2. The guy called me four eyes. We'll call her Jennifer. She's now 17 and doesn't want to be identified, but her story... He told me to F off. ...is what so many kids live every day. Except now, they're also living it online. This is why we're here tonight. We're in 93, Victoria Law Enforcement Officer Darren Lahr began teaching safety, awareness and self-defense classes to women, men and children. Then technology brought a whole new danger. At the last high school I was at, over 30 of them invited me in believing I was a 16-year-old girl when hi, my name's Darren and I'm 48. We've been teaching kids safety for such a long time that parents started to ask us about internet safety. So it was really the parents that spawned the program. Nearly 200 schools across Western Canada and Washington State have hosted the Personal Protection System Seminar. If you haven't been bullied, I think it makes you understand exactly what they feel and even if you have been bullied it makes you really realize what has been going on with you that you've just been taking for granted every day. When you feel like up. These two teens have seen Darren's presentation numerous times and were honored when he asked them to write a song for his website. I've always wanted a song written by teens for teens on the topic of bullying and cyberside and suicide and understanding that it gets better. It's hard because I think everybody can relate to being the small person and I think that sometimes it kind of can go unnoticed and uh, having a song like this I think can really draw attention to it and just get everybody talking about it. Bullied for years at school and online, Jennifer was getting desperate and Darren's presentation resonated. Don't give up on life yet. There's lots of things you can do. Get help, stand up to them. Just don't take your life. Like, I thought about it several times. Because there are students in our country, in our province, who are self-harming. A portion of proceeds from each seminar is donated to three non-profit support groups, including Need2, Suicide Prevention, Education and Support. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.